there are a total of num courses you have to take the courses are labeled from zero to num courses minus one you also are you're also given a prerequisites array where in this shape that shows that you must take the, the thing on the right before the thing on the left and so you need to return true if all the courses can be finished okay otherwise return false and it looks like this so we have this zero must be taken before one one must be taken before two the three courses and zero one and two can they be finished absolutely so they can be finished if there's a cycle so basically we're detecting if there's a cycle um so three courses zero must be taken before one one must be taken before two ah but two must also be taken before one that doesn't make sense so that's a cycle between one and two and two and one so false here it's true and it's a valid ordering and so on so for the solution it's the tuple sort pattern and, and they have all this word salad but um, what we're basically going to do is we'll construct this graph do breadth first search with a q level by level and for every course we take that is a source and a source if you've followed the intro video for topological source sort and I think I mentioned it in the compilation order video as well. A source is a node that has no in, no inflow, right? No, no thing leading into it, no parent. So this has no parent, only has children. So when we take it out, then all of a sudden this has no parent, right? Because right? we've taken this out and so on. And that's how we're going to traverse the tree of courses. And so um, you would notice that a lot of the code looks the code looks similar across these topological sort paths sort problems we always have we always okay check is it less than or equal zero the number of courses and then just return true because obviously you can finish if it's if you have nothing to do then the in degree um basically keeps track of the number of con of in inflows into that node so this has an in degree of zero for instance right because nothing is coming into it this has an in degree of one because one connection is coming in this has two because you can see two connections coming in here. This is where we initialize everything to zero, right? For all the, the, the various courses. And then we create this adjacency list, which is basically, basically the construction of a graph, uh, but we're using an adjacency list again, explained in other videos, but um, basically every single node is gonna, all these children are gonna be stored in an array like so. So in this case, one is gonna have one in its child. This is gonna have these two in its, array and so on and then we build that graph here with the prerequisites remember the parent is the thing on the right the item on the right of the tuple while the child is the item on the left of the tuple and so we're, we're going to index at each index with a graph we're going to construct a graph we're going to push the child okay and then we're going to increment the in degree because every child for every parent the child uh, has one connection coming in so we increment it by one and this is the construction of the graph and we'll find all the sources. That's all the courses with zero in degrees, right? So we'll create this queue, a source, and then we'll loop through the in degrees, the keys, get the keys for every key in the in degree. We check if it's zero, then we enqueue it, add it to the source. And that is our way of popping this off, basically, right? And then what we're gonna do while the source is, is not uh, extinguished, it's not finished, because we're gonna be updating, adding more things in here. But while we can continue to do that, we take the first thing off, get the first source, increment the counter. Uh, because we're, why are we incrementing a counter? If we can get to the, if we can go through this process, that is again, common with every, everything we've done so far is common to all the tuple sort problems, except I think the verifying the alien dictionary problem. But if we can, we increment the counter, and then at the end of the day, we're checking if it matches the number of courses because that determines if there was a cycle in the graph because there would be a mismatch if there's a cycle in the graph and that means the person cannot complete the courses. And so we DQ, right? And then for that particular course we DQ'd, we're going to re reduce all the in degrees because it's again, it's a parent. So all the children is disconnected from all the children. So their in degrees should come off by one because that one that we DQ'd. And then if that child that just lost a it's uh incoming node it's parent node if that child losses in parent node we just send it to a source because it's a new source and so on okay and we do that as long as there are sources so in this case you can see counter styles of a zero we also take this out counter comes one and so on it just keeps going okay 
And these numbers, I believe, are in degrees. Yes, in degrees to the nodes. Okay. And then a counter is six, and there are six courses. And so therefore, this course can be finished. Right? There's a way to finish a course. And we just return that. It's, it's going to return true. That's all there is to it. It's probably going to be a similar time complexity to everything we've seen so far. Uh, v plus E, whether V is vertex, vertices, E is the edges, space complexity is the same because we're storing all the edges in an adjacency list. And then there's the alternative, alternative solution uh, with depth first search, but we've not, so far we've not been concerning ourselves with, with that. And the time complexity is the same, so we're not going to bother with that. You can research that in your own time. But that's all there is to this problem. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, share, upvote, right? Wherever you saw this. We'll see you next time. Cheers.